Hello, back to the car, Carl Moser motor. As you can see, so far I've done the railway track. I've assembled it and painted it, and and it's basically ready to go. It's not as easy as you might think. The the pictures show each of the roads. I'm sure you can see that there. Each of the roads. They call them roads. It's it's a track bed really. And they, they, they put them as simply gluing together. They then <clears throat> suggest that you would put the pre-assembled tracks in through the bottom of the, the track bed. And then trim them as necessary. I've trimmed the piece off road A. So that it's, because it, I'm not going to put, um, extend the track at all. It's going to stay as it is. And I didn't really need to do that because... I did it completely different to their, their method. So it shows you on page 2, uh, section 2, how to assemble the track. Really quite straightforward. But there is a problem. What I did originally was I assembled the track bed, as they've suggested on the instructions. And then I picked it up a couple of hours later and... About the middle there, on one of the joints, it just separated. So I used some stronger glue. I used um, Ravel Professional Glue and stuck it all together with that. Restuck it all together with that. Left it for about four hours. Picked it up, give it a bit of a shake, and the same thing happened again. It broke up two joints that time. So what I thought was right, what I'll do is I'll put... Some MDF in underneath to strengthen it because this thing, if you ever come to move it when it's got the when it when it's got the rail gun on it, there's a fair bit of weight in it, you know. So you're going to pick it up at the end. You're not going to pick it up anywhere else, and that's going to cause it to break in the middle. That's my view anyway. So I glued onto the bottom of the rail bed all those pieces of MDF. And I thought, well, that'll fix it. That'll sort it. So I glued it all on. I left it a day this time. And I gave it a shake. And it didn't break, but it did bow. So, <laughs> it goes worse, doesn't it? What I've done is I've used some 4 mil doweling that I had. And I've glued that with Gorilla Glue, foaming Gorilla, gorilla Glue, that's hard to say, across each of the joints at the bottom there you can see them on the on the joints on the uh, on the bed glued that left it for a day and that's set then trimmed off the, the the foam that's come out that you can see on the top trimmed it all off now there's no movement in that at all it's a solid piece of kit and that's what you want as i say you know <laughs> even uh, moving it to clean Clean uh, the shelf or wherever you put it. You, you, if you don't reinforce that that track bed, it's going to break. Now that presented another problem because now the sleepers are no longer going to be able to fit in this method. So what I did was I cut them all off the um, off the sprues and I cut all the joints between them. So I ended up with individual uh, individual sleepers, like so. You'll end up with quite a few of these over, and I assume that they've given you more than you need. So that you can extend the track if you want to. 
the, the, the track itself is longer as well than these trimming off but um, I ended up with quite a few of these over I think there's about six or seven of them over now then, because I had to cut them off and then put them in and then glue them in individually what it also did was it raised the sleepers up a little higher off the, uh, the, the bed the rail bed as you can see the the ballast is molded into the rail bed and what that means is if you do it the way that they suggest by putting the sleepers in from the bottom you're going to have to when you feed the the rail in from the top you're going to have to trim all of the the uh, bits of ballast that stick up above the sleeper but doing it this way I didn't have to do that at all I could just put the the rail in, slide it along, join it on, slide it along, join it on and that worked really quite well I before I put all the sleepers in and the rails in I sprayed the outside of the bed black and then I sprayed the, the inside a, middle, uh, a mid grey what I've done then is I've hand painted an oil line down the middle and down the sides I've also painted a slight green colour on the edges. I think it looks as realistic as you, you're probably going to get it unless you start using real ballast. And I didn't really want to do that. The joints are a little bit of a problem. I think I've got most of them hidden. I can still see them, but I've got to look really quite closely. And the, the way you have to do it, there's a lot of photographs of this on the, on the video. The way you have to do it is where they join. Once, once you've got it fixed together rigidly, then trim the, the ballast where it's sticking up until it all matches and, and the joints tend to go away from there then. The, the sleepers, I painted them. First I sprayed them with a German red-brown it's called. The German red brown surface primer, and I sprayed the whole thing the rails, the sleepers, a whole lot with that. I then mixed burnt umber with a light chocolate brown, I don't know what it's called. Mixed that fairly thin and painted over it, leaving the, the chairs. These things in Britain, in the UK, that hold the rail down to the sleeper are called chairs. and the bits that hold the rails together are called fish plates. You probably never see them used again unless it's on vintage railways because now they weld the tracks together. But that's, yeah, as I say, my <laughs> useless information really. So what I did then was um, fed the track through. It brings a little bit of the paint off, but then you can you, you can patch the paint up. That's not a problem. And then on the bottom. I've used burnt umber in the bottom of the tracks there, a very thin, like a wash really, to put that in there and it makes some of the track look dirtier so it picks up some dirt over time. And then on the top of the rail, I found some stuff that's uh, really quite interesting. It's quite interesting to me, it might be old hat to you. True metal, AK true metal, and that. I put it on with a a cotton bud and apparently you can you can polish it up once it's been on once it's it's dried off and it does actually polish up so that it looks like a real actually does come off as well <laughs> it's a wax based uh, acrylic paint and I think that looks quite real get a bit of dirt in there and I've tried I've done that purposefully so it's got a bit dirty now and it looks quite real. That's about all there is with it really. And it took quite some time. You, you, you've got to think about it and you've got to do some work on it. It's not as easy as it appears on the instructions where it, it just appears that you put them together and 
everything stays in one place it, it simply doesn't you've got to reinforce that track bed or I think you've got to reinforce it and you've, you, you've got to do quite a lot of work to get that 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 finish to make it look anywhere near realistic if you put the whole thing together and then painted it I think you'd be struggling to make that look realistic but that's only my uh, my opinion any comments any good or bad um, any questions please leave them in the in the comments box below and thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time ta -da!